welcome Carol Hardy. <laughs> washing windows, washing windows, washing windows today. <laughs> brush off, brush off. <laughs> um, uh, tensions were high this weekend. The celebrities knew somebody was going to be going home. Did the nerves show? The nerves were out there, but what was really evident to me, how nitpicky were the judges? No. They were homing in on that technique really early on. But I think it's in favour of the celebrities. As we've talked about before, do the homework, do the technique, so it will help you later on, and it will also get you through these early stages. Okay. So yeah, they were seriously <laughs> harsh. We'll talk more on that. As Julie Andrews would say, we'll start at the very beginning. Indeed, and a very good place to start. Oh, the old show tunes. Yes, please, on Monday. <laughs> Jamelia and Tristan uh, kicked off the show with a cha-cha-cha, uh, ended up in the dance-off. They definitely put in a great performance, but the judges said that she's lacking a little bit of technique. Tell us more. Yeah, we started immediately here with the technique. Now, this piece I've chosen here. Now, over the years, a lot of people at home will know these legs should be locked straight. And as we're dancing through this, we can see that it, they're too bent. Um, this will change the character of the dance. And I, I think it just, it had, it had the diva look. Yeah. But it was a bit too cool, R&B, sort of, it needed that sassy Cuban woman on there. And again, that was the technique that affected it. So straighten those legs, lock them in. Come on, Jamina. Nail Get that it. hip Nail it. She'll be fine. Okay, Daniel and Christina onto the, I have to say, Daniel O'Donnell <laughs> just makes me so happy. Um, one point less this week for them, but Craig said he needs to be a bit higher up on his toes in his Charleston. Tell us more. Yep, technique, technique, technique. And the other technique with this, it should be all razzmatazz and faces and all these things. But look what I've chosen here. This reminds me of Eric and Ernie. Look, <laughs> you know, on, he Daniel. should be up on his toes. He's living the dream. <laughs> look what happens when a, a professional leaves a celebrity on their own for one second. Look yeah. what happens. But let's talk about <laughs> getting up on the toes and the effect that technique can have. It is I, dun, it's dun, demo dun, time. It's demo time. time. <laughs> Right, just very quickly. Yeah. Charleston, you do need to be up on those Look toes. That. It I creates it. a real, it creates that bouncy effect and gives it life and gives it character. Now, if we start dancing like this, <laughs> it sort of is lacking life and luster, isn't it? So, um, you know, take, yeah, it needs to be all of that. And actually, that is one thing that he needs to nail. Okay. He's got to get that personality plus. Oh, even that. more so. Come even and see more me. So. Good. Can do those faces. Here you go, Daniel. There's an offer. <laughs> right, Kirsty and Brendan did a salsa. Uh, fives all round from the judges. Bruno said he wasn't sure that the steps were fitting exactly with the music. Yeah, it was a beautiful number, and I've got to uh, I've got to compliment the lift work. Amazing. Incredible. But I'm just wondering if what Bruno was talking about, you know, when we do a salsa, we do what we call break, which means we accent the beat. We accent the one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And I felt a little bit, it could have been too much accenting on the two. Two, three, four. So ah. if we accent the two, it means it's more mambo. Okay. If we accent the one, it means it's more salsa. But, you know, I don't know where Bruno was going, but that was just my feeling on it. It could have been that. I thought, other than that, it was a stunning number. They work so well together, the chemistry between them, but maybe that's where he was going. Okay. Rhythm. A regular occurrence of accented beats. You must be accenting the oh, right I beat. When she there does we that. Go. Oh, I love Rhythm. We need to, oh, on a calendar. Okay, <laughs> uh, Jay and Aliona, very impressive. Their waltz. This was just sumptuous. <laughs> I, I got lost in this. 31 points. Judges didn't have anything negative to say about it at all, apart from Craig mentioning his thumb. Did you spot anything else that he needs to work on? Yeah, here? There's, there's something that I would love him to home in on. If you look at what we've got here, it's what we call about using the standing leg something like a waltz it really needs to drive across the floor now technically look at that beautiful heel lead closing of the feet beautiful top line but if he uses the standing leg and drives a lot more the whole picture will expand and open up and it will be an even greater performance than it was my little lollipop is still he's still tucked away as I said last week I love him dearly let's get that improvement in there what a little lollipop I'm not even going to ask. such a cutie, okay. <laughs> um, Georgia and Giovanni, <coughs> got to calm down, woman, uh, got 25 points, uh, two less than last week for them. Um, Len did comment on her bottom, um, which is she's got a lovely bottom. Oh, did you know what he meant, what he, was, uh, what he was after? Gosh, yes. Now, I'm going to go back a lot of years here. When I was a young lady, Len was always on about 
layering of bricks. So basically, each part of your body should sit on top. So yeah. legs on the feet, hips on the legs, body on the... What he may have been talking about here, she was really working hard. Look at the body contact that these two have got already. No Week gapping, two. very good. I think she might have been working hard at getting that gapping to please the judges, but what it might have done is just pop slightly the hips. So one of the little bricks might have just slightly popped out for, for Len. But how nitpicky. I know. Week two, give She's them a break. Incredible. I thought Fabulous, that was this duo. Stunning. I love it. Okay, Ainsley and Natalie, judges and the audience, loving Ainsley's workout <laughs> on the floor. And Natalie, I was such great choreography from her. Um, 26, did this surprise you or were you expecting something so brilliant? This is everything I thought Ainsley was going to be and more. He <laughs> brought the room alive. This is what this dance is all about. Letting it go. Look at his hips go. He's got the attitude. He's just made Natalie and he's having a, a ball with her um, but the main thing about this and everything about dancing is about letting all your inhibitions go if yeah. you hold anything back it will ruin your performance and that's really what this whole journey is about if you are struggling with that you've got to give it a little bit of Ainsley and just go for it and go for and it just go for it it will fall in the right way if you've done, done your training in the training rooms it's incredible uh, Carol and Pasha uh, last couple that we're going to discuss today Darcy said great improvement from week one she got 24 more points last week and a six from Darcy that's brilliant what I loved her it was elegance she was in the arms of Pasha and I thought it was amazing I picked up this lovely bit this is very hard shape changing standing on one foot look at the head position you know the top line's not perfect yet but she's really starting to open up and develop and go with the choreography I, I think she was a bit starstruck in the beginning but now she's breaking into it letting it go just keep building on that confidence and just deliver it don't worry what happens Pasha Pasha will be there for her. He will be Pasha and passion. Uh, we're getting a free refill of Karen tomorrow when she'll be going through our other seven couples. But for now, Lady of Hardy, everybody. <laughs> now, they say it's...